since i was born and now i think i'm getting old the african society have always looked to blame the white man for their misfortune and destitution but deep down i knew it was wasteful and it doesn't show a great sense of character on my part if i place all my current predicament on the white man without taking some form of responsibility for my current state this mentality I created for myself helped me immensely, but it grew further when I realized that the African society can't keep on apportioning blame for its current state of destitution to the white man or even colonialism. And it became more evident and clear on the evening of the 20th of October 2020, when the federal government of Nigeria sent soldiers to massacre unarmed young civilians protesting at the Lekki Toge that evening. I realized that it was not the Queen of England or even the foreign white man that gave the order, but rather multiple unknown high-ranking officials from the APS office. But if that indelible action can occur or be committed in an African soil by an African government to its African citizen without sanction from OAU or that foreign body, then what more can we possibly expect to happen before we stop fighting the devil outside, but rather look to defeat the one within? Because if you don't, we could possibly wake up one morning and find out that there is no money in the country or there is no fiat currency in circulation in your country. And that's what today's video is all about. We'll be diving on understanding the real reason why there is no fiat currency in circulation in Nigeria and trying to figure out the way forward. So please and please, if you've not liked this video, like this video and subscribe. If you've not liked this video, like this video and subscribe because it won't hurt you if you do, but it actually hurt me if you don't. So please, like I said, like this video and subscribe and let's get right into the video. On the 26th of October 2022, the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN, announced the introduction of a new redesigned 200, 500 and 1000 Naira new fiat banknotes into the financial system. According to the CBN governor Godwin Emefele, he stated that the Central Bank of Nigeria have every right to redesign and change its fiat currency as it's operating under the guide of the monetary mandate of section 2 subsection b of the cbn act of 2007 by the nigerian constitution and according to him this redesign of the naira fiat note hasn't been enacted for the past 19 years which doesn't help the central bank monetary mandate he also stated that the real reason for the redesigning of the currency is to maintain the economic integrity of the naira stating that as of 2015 the currency in circulation was 1.4 trillion naira but fast forward 7 years later in 2022, it doubled to 3.2 trillion naira. But what's really interesting is the fact that out of the 3.2 trillion naira, 2.7 trillion is not regulated and it haven't even reached the central bank government, meaning that according to him, individuals are holding the naira. And also meaning that roughly 500 billion is what is just in circulation and is what is being regulated by the central bank government admitted to massive corruption in the Nigerian system which technically we all know and is old news. Now we understand the real reason for the redesigning of the new Naira notes. Then what then is causing the shortage of the new Naira notes and why is it so hard for it to be in circulation? Now this is the point where it's really funny and I reinstate my views on why I feel Africans looking to blame the white man for their problem to be very very pathetic. So let me explain. If the government wasn't corrupt or had an atom of law for its citizens, even if they created policies to include corp corruption, they would have placed adequate seamless transition from the old notes to the new notes without even creating any sense of hardship or hassle for its own citizen. But rather, they showed lack of organization and peak corruption in the government, which technically isn't surprising. You don't expect much from a failed state. According to the CBN governor, Godwin Emefele, most countries redesign their fiat currency once in 5-8 to eight years to curb counterfeits, reduce inflation, and keep the country's economic integrity intact. But if every country goes through this process, why then are you making it hard for your own poor citizen to assess the world which they work for? Since other countries pass go through these processes and don't really even make it hard for their own citizen, why then are you trying to make it difficult and 
very stressful for your own citizen i really don't see any reason for the hardship rather than sheer incompetence on the part of the government and sheer incompetence or lack of organization from the government itself because technically people that's the only that's the only option or that's the only reason that have adequate backing which is sheer um, incompetence on the government on their part because conspiracies are circulating that probably based on the election and blah 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 but it's really we really lack concrete evidence to to back that um up so like that's the the only evidence i could give it just shows the incompetency of the nigerian government and yeah that's that's just it and once again the government that failed as this long queue in the bank and to long queue in the bank to assess their money and even the banks are not really dispersing cash and that's the sad reality of things on ground right now but the simple fact is that the government doesn't provide enough new fiat currency in circulation like i said incompetency on their part because if there was enough fiat new fiat currency the bank would be dispensing and that's just the fact and that's just the truth but they simply knew not they simply not enough fiat new fiat currency in circulation so that's just the truth so what's the way forward sorry fair price shortage of cash in circulation inadequate power supply increase in the dollar to naira valuation and the upcoming election there's really no way forward technically in my head right now but you can comment down in this comment section below just what's the way forward for nigeria and that's just the truth because to me there's so much that people can take before they snap like it's happened organically like the government shouldn't ignore the cry of the poor masses because what they have to understand is that love can turn to fear fear can turn to hatred and hatred can turn to agitation and chaos which technically is not good for both parties that's all i can say well guys i'm all out and i really appreciate you for sticking with me to the end of this video i really appreciate you very very well so please if you not like this video like this video and subscribe if you not like this video like this video and subscribe because it won't hurt you if you do but it will actually hurt me if you don't so please like i said like this video and subscribe and go check out my other video please 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 see you in the next video see you in the next video peace